Welcome to Retro Crisis. Please support the channel by subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can very easily change the user interface of RetroArch. Now, in order to access the user interface settings, simply open up RetroArch, go to Settings, and scroll down to User Interface. Now, we want to click on Menu, and here you can see the four different interfaces. Now, the Ozone interface is the one that's selected by default. Now, if you're watching this video, there is a good chance you're already familiar with the Ozone interface, so I won't bother going through that one. What I will do is have a look at these other three. So firstly, I'll go to GLUI, and then once you've selected that, you want to close RetroArch and reopen it so the changes take effect. Perfect, now this is GLUI. Now, from my experience, this user interface is best used on a touchscreen device, such as your Android tablet or Android phone, or whichever other touchscreen device you use. You're able to change some of the settings by clicking this cog wheel on the right, scrolling down to user interface, and then appearance. And from here, you can change some of the various settings that are baked into uh, this particular user interface. One of the interesting ones is menu color theme. You can change it to whichever one uh, suits your visual desires best. And another one that's pretty good is if you go to the top, you can change the menu scale factor. So that basically means you're able to make the text smaller or larger, depending on if you have a tiny screen or a large screen. There's many other settings here. I'm not going to go through them. Uh, I'll let you experiment yourself. So I'm going to go back and go back to menu and let's check out the next one down. So we're going to skip over ozone and go to RGUI. So select it, close RetroArch and reopen. And here we have RGUI. This is my personal favorite. Uh, I kind of discovered this when I was using RetroPie on my uh, CRT TV. And whenever I accessed RetroArch, this is the interface that would uh, present itself. So I'll go to settings and user interface and appearance. Some of the interesting ones are, uh, you can change the aspect ratio depending on which TV uh, screen you're using. You can also change the uh, color of the menu. I personally prefer hacking the kernel. Uh, you can also change the background animation effect. So I've got snow light here. You can change it to snow heavy, rain, vortex, star field, and various other things. Another one that I find quite useful is the uh, ticker text animation and speed. So that's the scrolling animation at the bottom. And I like to keep the speed at about two. Let's go back and go to menu. And finally go to XMB. Close RetroArch and reopen it. Now this one is very clean, very modern looking and very reminiscent of the PlayStation 3 cross media bar. So if you go to settings and go down to user interface, and appearance, and you're also able to change some pretty cool settings here. One of the cool settings is the menu shader pipeline, so you can have this uh, kind of nice bokeh uh, bubbles in the background. You can have snow, a slightly lighter snow, a ribbon, and a slightly simplified ribbon. And you can also go down to menu color theme and change the colors to whatever suits your needs. Each one of these user interfaces has a multitude of toggles and effects that you can mess around with. I'm not going to go through each of them because that would just be like an hour long video and it would be fun for you to experiment with these yourself. And remember, whenever you're changing between these interfaces, just make sure you close RetroArch and reopen it again. And also be mindful that some of these user interfaces will function better depending on which type of device you're using. So whether it's a computer, uh, your TV or a touchscreen device. Anyway, let me know what kind of interface uh, you prefer to use and if there are any cool settings that you prefer to have switched on or off. Right, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please support the channel by subscribing. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.